Jeff the Killer's Pet by Moonlight Royal Part 2 Unknown's Point of View I chuckled when she passed out. I held her in my arms and teleported away. She looks pretty cute while she's sleeping. What am I saying, damn it? Then he shook his head. He arrived at the large black door and opened it. The room had a large double bed with black walls and gray carpeting. He put the girl on the bed and tied her up to the sides. He walked to the door, then turned around and looked at the girl with a smile. Time skip. Poppy's point of view. I woke up in an unknown room, and I was startled. Where the heck am I? I tried to get up, but I couldn't. I pulled on the ropes, but no, but I couldn't move. I gave up and felt f- powerless. I couldn't calm down and started crying. I'm so scared. I can hardly breathe. Suddenly, there were footsteps in the hallway. The door opened, and there was a boy who was in my house. I pushed father into the bed, trying to get away. He just looked and laughed and got closer. He stood in front of me and took my cheek in his hand. My face turned red, and I tried to hide from him. He lifted my face and smiled. How's my little pet doing? I looked up and didn't know what he wanted, what he meant. But it didn't feel good about it. Who are you and what do you want from me? His laughter filled the room. I was startled by his sudden reaction. First, I'm Jeff and you should call me Master. And second, you are now my pet. Since you saw that I killed your family. He said coldly, looking straight at me. Jeff's point of view. She said nothing. All she did was stare at me. I laughed at her reaction. I moved to the side and whispered in her ear. Should I just untie you then? She looked at me and became even redder than she was. When she was untied, she wanted to run, but I held her tightly by the arm. She looked at me frightened and slowly began crying. I don't know what I felt, but it hurt. I let go of her arm. I looked the other way and went to the wardrobes. What would suit her? She looked at me and walked in the direction, too. What do you think of this? She nodded at him. She nodded at me. Then put it on. We have somewhere to go. She walked to the bathroom and started to change. When she finally came out of the bathroom, I blushed. The dress looked beautiful on her. I studied her black hair and brown eyes, walking over to her and giving her a collar. Put this on for your safety. She nodded and put the collar on carefully. Where are we going? She asked nervously. You'll see when we get there. Take my hand. It can get weird. She turned as red as a tomato. I didn't know what to do, but after a minute she took my hand and we walked into the large hall. Poppy's point of view. Master Jeff and I walked into the large hall. He looked at me and laughed. I was speechless about the room and said nothing. It was so beautiful. The hall was a beautiful gray walls and a large chandelier on top of the balcony. I thought it was fantastic. Shall we go then? I nodded with enthusiasm. He laughed and walked with me. There were many people in the beautiful suits and dresses, but there were also people who brought weapons. We're going to go find some friends of mine, okay? Yeah, I nod. And then we went looking for Master Jeff's friends. End of chapter 2.